Okay, what we're having here is we're going to look at how to get objects rotating around themselves. So in this example, we've got a cube that's rotating and then also its child, the sphere, which has sort of deformed a little bit so you can actually see it rotating around as well. So let's get started. So the first step is that I'm going to go and add the object that I want to go and rotate. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to game object, 3D object, add in a cube, and I'm just going to change and deform one of the axes, and let's just reset that so it's relatively easier to see. So we've got some slightly more deformed shapes since straight onto us. At the moment, let's go and add, actually let's just add a capsule onto this and we're gonna make it a child of this other one. And let's just bring, bring that, let's just bring it in front and out to the side to start with. So we've got our basic character and object that we're gonna spin. And we're gonna make a script that will just rotate this and by default, it will spin all around this origin point here and by default everything else will spin. So let's make a new scene in our scripts, not scene, script in our scripts folder. Let's call it rotate object. And we're just gonna drag that initially and, oh, did that go onto the wrong one? No, it didn't. Drag that onto our cube shape and now just open up the script in your editor. Uh, we don't need to have the start function. We are going to just have a public float. Rotation speed. And I'm just going to set that to 20 to start with. We're making that public just so we can easily manipulate it from anywhere else we want. And note we use Pascal case in C sharp. So this public variable there's a capital R on the first word. Okay, so in our function, every game object has generally a transform and we've got a rotate function. And we need to give it a 3D vector. So I'm just going to tab these in a bit just to make it it's a little bit nicer to read. So I'm going to get vector 3 dot right which is essentially the x-axis times that by a rotation speed and times it by time dot delta time and we're going to do the same for up which is the equivalent of the y-axis and right not right forward which is the equivalent of the z-axis and why are we get oh we don't it's not a semicolon at the end of each line it is just a comma because actually it's not even a comma it is plus because we are adding these three vectors together now there is a fourth property that is taken here space dot self now this one line here I could have actually written it all on one line, but as you can see, this gets quite difficult to read. So we've just broken up that one line into essentially six, just to make it easier for us to read as a human. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Unity now. We'll go check that that script is attached. Cool, set to 20. Let's hit play on this. And we can see it's spinning and rotating around. Now what we can do is drag that onto the capsule. And now the capsule is going to be able to rotate independently as well. And we can go and modify these speeds because it's nice and public. So we can get some quite nice and quite quick animations created. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, you will make a bunch of mistakes and things. That is perfectly normal. Remember to fail upwards.